Over the past month or so, we've taken a look at the ends of each set of characters within Call of Duty Zombies. Whether it be the Mob of the Dead Mobsters, the Shadows of Evil crew, the Call of the Dead cast, the Transit or the Five characters, I've made videos on how all of their timelines ended. And today, finishing off this mini-series, we have the final sets of characters I've yet to make a video about being Primus and Ultimus. And the reason I've left them till last and the reason I'm putting them together instead of making separate videos on them is because one, their ending compared to a lot of our other characters is a lot more well known and simpler. And also Ultimus and Primus are one and the same. They're different, but they're the same characters and their stories reach the same conclusion. I've placed all of the other sets of characters videos in a playlist so if you want to check any of those older videos out you can find them there or on the channel but let's finish this series off and take a look at how the story for the Ultimus and Primus characters Richtofen, Takio, and Nikolai and Dempsey ended. So unlike most of the other characters I've spoken about the story of Ultimus and Primus dates back to the beginning of this mode 2008. As I've done with the other sets of characters I could tell their whole story but Unlike them, theirs would be hours long. It would essentially be a complete timeline of the COD Zombies storyline. But skipping to the end, throughout most of our Zombies maps, we've played as Richtofen, Takio, Nikolai, and Dempsey, be it different versions of them, whether it be Ultimus, Primus, great war versions of these characters. Pretty much all throughout World at War and Black Ops 1, we played as the Ultimus characters. Throughout Black Ops 2, we played as Victus or the Transit Crew, but on the final map to that game, Origins, we were introduced to the Primus characters, the younger versions of Richtof and Takio, Nikolai and Dempsey, and then all throughout Black Ops 3, we continued playing with Primus, where they completed quests in maps like the Rising Draka, Zetsubo no Shima, Gorod Karuvi, until they continued the cycle in Revelations where everything got reset and they were sent back to the Great War. And that's essentially what the whole Call of Duty Zombies storyline was up until that point. One giant cycle going from World at War to Black Ops 1 to Black Ops 2 to Black Ops 3 and then resetting over again. Not exactly in that way, but it's far too much to explain more than that in this video. And then Black Ops 4 came around where our premise characters travelled to Blood of the Dead to Alcatraz to collect the blood vials, which would normally have been a part of the cycle. However, something changed through Primus Richtofen's sacrifice in the mechanism and the destruction of the blood vials, the cycle was broken. Nikolai then became the leader of the gang and using the information from the new pages of the Cronorium, which changed once the cycle was broken, they learned that their next destination was to travel to Area 51, classified where the Ultimus characters were imprisoned. So the Primus versions of Nikolai, Takio, Dempsey and a different version of Richtofen travelled to Area 51, where they teleported straight into where Ultimus were being imprisoned and told them they need to join them one last time in order to end this once and for all, so that they could win the war and destroy the multiverse to make sure that none of this, the zombies, Dr. Monty, the Shadow Man, the Summoning Key, existed. And that's what we see them do. Primus and Ultimus join forces, they leave the cell where they teleport to a forest in Siberia. When they arrive here, they enjoy drinks around the campfire celebrating the fact that they've almost achieved victory and have got one over on Dr. Monty, but little do they know that Primus Nikolai, the leader of the group, has poisoned their drinks and they die. The reason why Primus Nikolai did this was because in order to end the multiverse, everything, a part of it, had to be destroyed and because of Primus and Ultimus's connection to the Dark Aether, the fabrics of the universe, because their souls were bound to it, the destruction of the multiverse couldn't be complete without their death. So unknowingly to them, because he knew more than likely they wouldn't agree to it, he secretly poisoned them and they died, leaving only Primus Nikolai and the two children, Samantha and Eddie, alive. But Ultimus Richtofen, after he was poisoned, came back as a zombie. This zombie we know as Undead Richtofen. But unfortunately, just like his other counterparts, Undead Richtofen knew what had to be done. He knew the only way to resolve the paradox was for him to die and so Primus Nikolai once again shot him, this time finishing him off. And now with pretty much all of the characters dead and Nikolai having destroyed the summoning key, the multiverse began to collapse in on itself and everything that spewed forth of the Dark Aether was suddenly banished back to it. The Victus characters, the Five characters, Dr. Monty, everything begun to get sent into the Dark Aether. And the very final thing Nikolai needed to do to make sure this was finished once and for all was, just like his friends, make sure his death came around too. And so told the children, Samantha and Eddie, 
to shoot him. And that's what happened. Samantha shoots Nikolai in the head and all of the Primus and Ultimus characters, Richter and Taku, Nikolai and Dempsey, are killed. That's when we see Samantha and Eddie walk off into their new universe, leaving every other universe in existence to be banished back into the Dark Ether. With the multiverse now gone, it was just this one separate universe that existed where Samantha and Eddie went to. And that was the very last time we saw Primus and Ultimus. That was what happened to them. But there is one thing I've always wondered. Is there the possibility, because we saw at the end of Tag Do Toten, everything gets banished to the Dark Ether. We see Blood or Mob of the Dead get sent there with everything in it. Alpha Omega or Nuketown gets sent to the Dark Ether, so does Classified and the Pentagon, along with, like I said, the Victus characters in Siberia, Tag Do Toten, Call of the Dead. If all of those got sent to the Dark Ether then, I would assume so did Primus and Ultimus, albeit they're dead, but were still sent to the Dark Ether. And since we know element 115 or ethereum reanimates people into the undead is there the chance that primus and ultimacy's dead bodies after they were sent into the dark ether became reanimated and were brought back as zombies is there any possibility that primus and ultimus at one time were zombies in the dark ether whether they still are now in the current zombie storyline in Cold War and Trout's next game is a different question, since there is a big time gap between the two. But at one point, if the dead bodies of Primus and Ultimus were banished to the Dark Ether, is there a possibility that when they arrived in there, they could have been reanimated and brought back as zombies? I don't know. But to finish their storyline off, what we do know for sure is they died. They're dead and that's it. That's the end of their story. Yes, Richtofen still exists in the form of Eddie. That's not Primus or Ultimus, but it is Richtofen. So he is technically still alive, but the story of Primus and Ultimus as we know them ended in Tagdo Toten, where they were all killed by Nikolai, either poisoning them or when he had Samantha shoot him. So there we go. Check out the videos I've done on all of the other characters that brings this series to an end. So if you have enjoyed, drop a like rating. Make sure you are subscribed to stay up to date with the latest videos on the channel. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in another one. Until then, goodbye. But for all the pain and torment we have endured together as we leave this life behind, it is my hope that you know one thing beyond any doubt. Look away, Eddie.